Sunday on WGN. One more time in Sin City, Cubs, Dodgers, live from Vegas, Sunday at 3 on WGN. Center, the Bulls, past and present, are on display. While the Bulls honor the 91 champs, the current Bulls go for 11 in a row at home and six straight overall. It's the Bulls and the Utah Jazz. Hi again, everybody. Neil Funk, along with my partner, Stacy King, we welcome you to our broadcast of Bulls basketball on WGN. And Stacy, the Bulls had their groove last night against a very good Atlanta Hawks team. Is this the best basketball the Bulls have played all season? I think it is. I mean, defensively, they've really shut down teams. They're rebounding the basketball. And again, it starts on the defensive end. Again, you know, Carlos Boozer didn't play. He was out with an ankle injury, and they did not miss a beat. And when you look at the success this year, it's been a lot of different guys. But one thing about it, their defense has been the constant. Every single night, they get after you. When you play defense like the Bulls are playing right now, that has championship material written all over it. Now, they still got to do other things. They got to take care of the basketball. They got to continue to shoot. But you look at those stats right there, amazing. Yeah, and you talk about, a lot of times we talk about chemistry offensively, but you got to have chemistry defensively as well. And the Bulls right now have that in abundance. Okay. We're here to honor the 91 champs, and you were on that team. Can you compare the two teams, that team, as they were uh, you know, chasing a title, and this team? Well, I, I think where the comparison is, Neil, is defensively. We really got after teams in that 91 championship team, and that was one of the difference why we won the championship. Strong bench play, and these are characteristics that the Bulls have now. They have great bench play. They're strong defensively, and you look at the numbers, they're very eerily similar. We scored more, but we gave up more. But you look at this year's Bulls team, there's no arguing. This is a special team. And you look at that uh, rebound margin, this year's edition, plus almost six rebounds per game. So it's the Bulls and a Western Conference opponent, the Utah Jazz, as they make their only appearance here at the United Center. All of that's right around the corner. Chicago Bulls basketball is brought to you by Budweiser. Want to go home with me tonight? I'm the designated driver. Budweiser, responsibility matters. Mega Millions, and now Powerball from the Illinois Lottery. GMC Acadia, better highway fuel economy than any other eight-passenger SUV. And by Harris, official bank of the Chicago Bulls. Everybody, we're at the United Center tonight. The Bulls and the Utah Jazz as the Bulls honor that first championship team and what turned into quite a run. And uh, we'll have all of the festivities for you at halftime live right here on WGN as we get set for the playing of our national anthem. And we join along and sing together our national anthem being performed for us tonight by Chicago's own Arthur Scales, a regular performer during the 1990-91 season. Mm-hmm. 
Chicago Bulls basketball in high definition is brought to you by Xfinity only from Comcast. And now to Tommy Edwards for the starting lineups. Nine from Russia, number 47, Andre Karolinko. At center, 6'10 from Prentiss High School in Mississippi, number 25, Al Jefferson. A 6'3 guard from Wisconsin, number 5, Devin Harris. At guard from Florida International, 6'5, number 19, Raja Bell. The Jazz, coached by Tyrone Corbin, assisted by Scott Blayton, Jeff Hornacek. The athletic trainer is Gary Briggs. and the Jazz have been introduced. We'll get to the opening tap right after these messages. These days, I have the world at my fingertips. Not because I'm a gigantic celebrity, but because I have Xfinity. I can search for movies and shows, change channels, even watch, all from my iPad. Now, with the Xfinity TV app, you can watch movies and shows, even change channels right on your iPad. Switch to Xfinity and get TV, Internet, and voice for $29.99 each per month for a year when you bundle all three. Or step up to an HD triple play and get up to $200 back. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. I vow to get up as early as you. I vow to haul whatever you can fit in my bed. And tow whatever you hitch me to. I vow to be the best Sierra ever. And now during GMC Truck Month, you can get 0% financing for 72 months on the best Sierra ever. GMC Truck Month, now at your GMC dealer. One voice is a beacon rising above the city. A chorus of voices explode in a melody of joy and worship spreading across the coast. At Verizon's How Sweet the Sound, your choir becomes a force of glory, reaching hearts across the aisles and around the nation. Register now at HowSweetTheSound.com and join some of the greatest names in gospel at America's biggest gospel celebration. How Sweet the Sound, a Verizon experience. Now welcome back, Neil and Stacy at the United Center. Bulls entered tonight's game having won five in a row, 10th straight here at the United Center. And they have not won 11 straight at home since the team ran off 17 in a row back in 97-98. Uh, 
Bulls clinching the Central Division. Eighth time in franchise history that they have done that. And they did it uh, awfully early. And if they win tonight, they would run their win streak to six games. And that would be the third win streak of six or more games this year, Stacey. And that shows how remarkably consistent this team has been. Well, again, you know, we, we talk about guys stepping up and if a guy's out of the game, Carlos Boozer, again, we talked about in the open with that ankle injury, Taz Gibson, Kurt Thomas stepping up. Kurt Thomas last night, 13 rebounds. The Bulls bench the last two games, averaging 44 points a game from the bench. So a lot of key things helping this team can stay, stay consistent. And we're about set to get underway here. Bill Kennedy will put it in the air. Kennedy, Fair, and Richardson, the officials. And the tap won by the Bulls. Well, Utah comes in struggling. They've, they've won three of the last 10 games, and they just haven't really been able to get any kind of continuity after trading Darren Williams. And uh, the resignation of Jerry Sloan, probably a part of that as well, although I think uh, a lot of people around the league have a lot of respect for Ty Corbin. Bogans for three, in and out, tough luck. Rebound that Derek ran for it. And it's knocked out of bounds off of D. Rose. Good hustle by two players there. Well, one of the areas the Bulls have really been dominating these, during this stretch is second chance opportunities. The last two ball games are averaging about 14 points off second chance opportunities. Bang, curls into the lane. Good feed to Joe Kennedy, dumps the ball. Good teamwork right there. Came off a single double screen, curled it to the middle, and you saw Jefferson have to step up and help. And that was a nice pass by the wall, Day. Harris, Bell, Karolinko, Evans, and now Jefferson. For the Utah Jazz, Karolinko, battle miss, and Thomas the rebound. And they're playing a little bit more freer under Tyrone Corbin than they did with Jerry Sloan. Tyrone Corbin wants to get it up and down a little bit. Three, and just like that, the Bulls shoot out to a 5 0 lead. Again, he had a big game last night against Atlanta, which was a huge game. Again, you don't see Derrick Rose put two games where he struggles. He always seems to come back and play well the next game. Carol Minko, ball faced, bounced inside, knocked away, and out of bounds. That's going to go to the Bulls. We got to wonder the way Derek has been playing over the last month or so when uh, Devin Harris probably was reluctant to get off the bus. So Derek has really gone at some really good point guards, and here he goes right by Harris. Bang, Tyler Kurt and the shot. Get out, drive. Missed it. Rebound tapped out to it. Clears it to Dang, and he backed it in. And again, the Bulls are getting great ball movement, moving the ball from side to side, forcing Utah to have to adjust defensively. Karolinko, that's stripped away. Bogan's got raked across the face. The shot misses. Al Jefferson with a rebound. Back to Karolinko. Up, no. Follow, no. Loose ball foul on Evans. Jeremy Evans with his first, team's first. Right now, you see Utah just not able to get anything to drop for them. They're getting good shots. Karolinko's really getting a lot of shots. He's probably got more shots here than he did with Jerry Sloan. I'm not sure he's the guy you want to be getting all those shots, though. Derek shakes free. Thomas. They post to Dang. Driving Noah. And he's going uh, He just blew right by Al Jefferson. Again, Al Jefferson is really slow footed getting out there, opened up the driving lane for Joe King Noah. Nine he's nothing. Both pitching a shutout so far. For Thomas and Tom Jefferson. Repost. Jefferson off target. And the rebound comes off to the Bulls on the move. Derek. Again, making Utah take tough shots. Rose. Circles back. Now 
post up to Noah. Seven on the shot clock. Goodness, he's just, he's just isolating now. Jefferson on the island right there just blew right by him. No resistance whatsoever. And Tyrone Coleman needs a timeout quick. 11 nothing. The Bulls. 8.39 left to play in the first quarter. We'll be right back. intelligence that's helping business rethink how to do business. In here, inventory can be taught to learn. In here, machines have a voice. In here, medical history follows you, even when you're away from home. It's the AT&T Network, a network of possibilities, creating and integrating solutions, helping business and the world work. Rethink possible. some noise for the official Chicago Bulls debit MasterCard. Get yours only at Paris. The Bulls off to a good start and Joe Keem Noah off to a good start. There he is right here, just isolating now. Jefferson, who's not a very good defender. He just blows right by him. And again, you see him just isolate him at the free throw line, goes with his left hand, finishes strong at the rim. And right now, Neil, the Bulls shooting 63% from the field, and Utah yet to score. Karolinko skipped across. Jefferson raises up. That's short. And Noah with the rebound. That should have been a loose ball foul on Evans. Over the back. Rose. Bang, had a little room. Bogans has plenty of time. Locks and loads and missed it. Her Tomaso chases it down. And digging for it, it's going to be out of bounds to Utah. Kurt, good hustle in the corner, but couldn't track it down. Let's see uh, Michael Jordan. Just a great. Jim Durham on the left up there with Horace Grant. We talked with Horace last night. As crazy as all oh, as ever. Oh, there's our first basket right there. That was Jeremy Evans right there showing you little hops. He has uh, Utah on the board. 11 2. Got a chance to see all your ex teammates yet? Oh, yeah. I got a chance to see him before the game in the tunnel. Scott Williams and Dennis Hobson, Craig Hodges. There's the lob, and Evans catches, and then tried to go to Karolinko, could not. Jefferson had it, got it back. That's stolen by Bogan, who jumped in front. They're doing good defense by the Bulls. And Rose bobbing and weaving, swerving into the lane, and drew a foul. That's on. Devin Harris, his first and the second on the Jazz. And I tell you, Neil, defensively right there, you have no open shots. You saw the hustle right there by the Bulls. It looked like they, the Jazz had opportunity to score right there on a loose ball, but the Bulls did a great job of recovering. Rose for three. Come on. Oh, D. Rose is filling it. That's his second three-pointer of the night. And again, you would think that Devin Harris, who played in the East, would know you've got to get up on him. He can make that shot. And he will pull it if he's open. Top as guys are afraid to get up on him because then he just goes blowing right by him. So pretty soon, I mean, he's already well, pretty much unguardable. I, it's easier for them to make it look like they're trying to get out to him than it is to actually get out there and have him go by you. There's a 24-second violation or close to it, a missed shot. 
Horn sounded just after that was released. Those defense smothering again here in the early going. Joe Keane whipped upstairs. Nice. Swung nicely. Dang. Nope. Uh, that ripped away. It's good ball movement again. The all man wide open. Karolinko, he couldn't pull the trigger. I mean, they're just, they're struggling to be able to shoot the ball. That's not the way. Bogan's another steal. I mean, the Bulls are just active right now, and I think they've caught Utah off guard. Utah has come out flat here in the first quarter. They forced three turnovers. Bogan's, yes, there you sir. Go. Boogie down, boogie down, Bogan's. I like that. Again, playing with confidence. Jefferson in the lane, and he got that one to go off the rim. 17 to 4. Bulls defense has been uh, terrific here to start the game, and their offense has been right on. Here's Rose again for three off the heel of the rim this time. You see what Utah does here is a quick shot right there. And a rebound. Hit. Lifts and in and out. Oh, nice driving kick. But right now, the pace favors the Bulls right now. Devin Harris fouls from behind by Joaquin Noah. His first, team's first. We're going to see the rookie now, Derek Favors from Georgia Tech coming in, came over with Devin Harris in that trade from New Jersey. And this was a guy that a lot of people wanted. Denver wanted him. And Utah is able to make that deal for Darren Williams. Bulls fans going to jump on great season tickets for next year and see the NBA playoffs this year. It's the playoff payoff. Make a deposit on next year's season tickets, and you can get seats for every upcoming playoff game. Call the Bulls at 312-455-4000 and ask about the playoff payoff. Take a look at Devin Harris's numbers. Still trying to fit in out here in Utah. He was a very good guard. Rose picked up by Raja Bell. Logan's bounces off a defender. Kurt Thomas jumper that went in and out. And the misses by the Bulls have been right on the rim and then kicking away. Well, if you're Utah, you're going to try to just slow the pace down a little bit and try to get back in this game. They're going to have to. If they run, it'll be 100 to 12. There's a steal. Bang, and he runs out and stuffs the ball. Karolinko, I don't know what you were trying to do right there. You're not LeBron James. You're not going to chase somebody down from behind and get a block. You're lucky that's not an and one. That's good hustle by Luol Deng playing the passing lane. Jefferson. Karolinko, that's an air ball. Bogans plucks it out of the air. Derrick on the move. Rose driving, firing the scene. But he'll get to the free throw line as he is in attack mode. Well, this pace is way too fast for Utah. They, they do not want to get him a running game with the Bulls. They've got to slow this tempo down and try to make it a grind out game and try to play a half court game and force the Bulls to have to play in a half-court situation. But to do that, they can't afford to turn the ball over. There comes Miles Hayward, the rookie, on Butler. And Watson into the game as Derrick goes to the free throw line to shoot a couple. Tuesday, March 15th, the Bulls, the Wizards here at the United Center, the Bulls and Budweiser will celebrate St. Patrick's Day with Bulls t-shirts while supplies last. 1-800-4-NBA-TICKS or visit Bulls.com. 20-6. Well, you see Tyrone Corbin now trying to mix and match a little bit. He's going to bring some of the young legs out there. Earl Watson has been playing good off the bench for him. He's got two rookies in Hayward and Favors out there. Try to get some infusion of young legs. Try to slow the Bulls down. Turns and scores. That's 
how you slow the tempo down right there. Get that ball inside and let the big guy work. And we want the eight. Rose against Watson. And there's a cutting dig but thrown away. And Hayward's on the run the other way. He lost the hand line. Here comes Rose. Here's the numbers. Right back the other way. Dang. Again, another turnover by the Utah Jazz. The young forward Hayward trying to do too much. Turn that ball over quickly. Bulls got down and made him pay. And that ball tipped in by Jefferson. 24-10, a 14-point Bulls lead. Bulls. For uh, Dang, who made a nice cut. Couldn't get it to him. Brewer on the move. Rose from outside. Dang again. I'll tell you what, he is he is filling it from the three-point line. He's got 11 points, and he's three or four behind the line. Well, he's getting his feet set right there, and he's not, he's not hesitating. He's stepping into his shot, and those are just driving kick situations. There's Hayward out of the corner. No, the rebound tap. Taj Gibson with it. Now Rose on the move. Rose, Stutter steps in. Back to Dank, ball fake. Rose for three again. Oh my goodness. He is on fire. Somebody, don't cool him off, Mark. Don't cool him off. Let's four, keep him hot. Four of five. All his field goals have been threes. He's got 14 in the first quarter. Memo to the, to the Jazz. Get out on Derrick Rose. He is hot. Drive and he's fouled. And he's sent cartwheeling over the end line. The foul is on Taj Gibson, his first, the team's second. Derek Rose having his way. This one, dead right corner. Come on. Professional driver on a closed course. Do not attempt at home. Always wear your seatbelt. And please, drive responsibly. It's the most fun you can legally have. See your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer for exceptional offers on the C-Class. At U.S. Cellular, we notice the phone is only as good as its network. So what happens when you switch to U.S. Cellular? The carrier with the highest call quality and network satisfaction of any national carrier? It makes every call, text, and email amazing. Switch today and learn more at uscellular.com. Tailgating and the Triple Crown of Auto Racing inside the vault Sunday at 12:30 on WGN. Now the Bulls have made more threes than they have traditional twos so far in this game. They're six of eleven from behind the three-point line. It started early on and. Everybody has gotten into the act. Deng's one for two. Rose four for five. Bogan's one of four. So 11 three-point attempts. That's not a, a typical of this Bulls team, but they came out firing tonight. Well, Derrick Rose is just one off his career high for three-point field goals made. And the Bulls only one off from tying a season high. 
They had, a, they had seven three points in a quarter, December 11 against Minnesota. So they have come out and they are on fire. And the rookie at the free throw line favors. Missed his first. He's going to be a good player. He's got a huge upside. Couldn't really find his rhythm in New Jersey. And he's going to be a very, very good player. Rose. Forward. He went in the air. And then outside Brewer. No, but back cap by Kurt Thomas. And kept alive. Nicely done by the veteran. Rose whipped nice. inside. Nice. He threw a dart in there, and the Jazz were lucky to recover. Pretty good recovery there by Miles to bring that up, but he committed the foul. I'll tell you right now, they're so committed to stopping D. Rose right now, and the one thing Derek has been able to do this year is he keeps his eyes up the floor. He understands he's going to be double team, and he knows where the double team is coming from and where the rotation is going to be. And right there, he made a nice pass to Taj Gibson. Right now, if you're the Utah Jazz, you just got to come back and try to get some stops, get some decent possessions on the offensive end, and try to slow down Derrick Rose. And he's playing. I don't know that that's. Uh, he might have to start taking the stance that you're going to stop everybody else, and hope that Derrick can't beat you by himself. 31-13 as Rose brings it to the front court. And here comes Corver. He's up shooting and missing. And the rebound, Taj had it and then taken away. By favors, Watson circles. For Miles, and that got a tight rebound. And C.J. Miles has come off the bench with two baskets. He's a very good shooter. And again, Trying to pick some match and even with the young players and try to get some energy. Rose oh. court, he's wide open. Hello. Uh, you see the rookie Hayward right there got picked. And again, not used to getting picked like that. I mean, he took a shot. And Kyle Ford was able to run him off for a wide open jumper. Seven threes here in the first quarter. And ties the season high. For three quarters made. 15. First quarter for Utah about to come to a close mercifully. And the jumper good by Jefferson. He had plenty of time to measure that. Rose. Lifts one. Got it. Oh my. Neil Funk. I don't know a lot of Spanish, but he's in Frago. At 17. That's a career high for a quarter for Derrick Rose. 17 of the Bulls, 37. And they lead by 20. Chicago Bulls basketball is brought to you by GMC Acadia. Better highway fuel economy than any other eight-passenger SUV. I vow to get up as early as you. I vow to haul whatever you can fit in my bed and tow whatever you hitch me to. I vow to be the best Sierra ever. And now during GMC Truck Month, you can get 0% financing for 72 months on the best Sierra ever. GMC Truck Month, now at your GMC dealer. I just want to win. I'm winning gets you everything in this league, so I just want to be labeled as a winner. I'm not worried about no triple double. As long as we win. Oh my goodness! I want to go higher. I just want to be the best player out there. Do you know who this kid is? He is from Chicago. He has a 40 inch vertical. This is why this kid is special. This kid is special. Samantha. Hi, Todd. Do you want to be my boyfriend? <laughs> sure. 
Great. Give me a sub. My, my... Yeah, I'm your girlfriend now. Uh, uh, I don't think this is working out. Get your own sub like the Chicken Cordon Bleu back because you love it. Or try any of our irresistible chicken subs. Subway, eat fresh. These days, I have the world at my fingertips. Not because I'm a gigantic celebrity, but because I have Xfinity. I can search for movies and shows, change channels, even watch. All from my iPad. Now, with the Xfinity TV app, you can watch movies and shows, even change channels right on your iPad. Switch to Xfinity and get TV, Internet, and voice for $29.99 each per month for a year when you bundle all three. Or step up to an HD triple play and get up to $200 back. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. Now, Stace, a couple of things stood out in that first quarter. Obviously, the three-point shooting of Derrick Rose, but the, the Bulls with just one turnover. And uh, you see some of the other numbers there, but one turnover, and they outscore Utah 24 to nothing from behind the three-point line. Well, they came out on fire. And again, Utah's going to have to make the adjustment defensively and get out there. Uh, Watson, Derrick's on the bench. Brewer thought about it. Now does. And O'Mear gobbles up the rebound and scores. And there's O'Mear again doing a great job on the offensive glass. Just long. Able to get a lot of loose balls. In the absence of Carlos Boozer, Tom Thibodeau wanted to keep that second unit together, so he goes with Kirk Thomas, the veteran, in the starting lineup. And brings uh, Gibson. And O'Mear off the bench. Watson off the screen, and then the shovel. Taj, little turning oh, hook is going in the right hand. There he is, hard hat, lunch bail, punching in the clock. And a nice game. Looks great. He's really uh, been consistent. There's Watson. He got one up with a right hand hook at the lane. You can see the look of frustration on Utah's faces. They just have not been able to stop the Bulls. They just got off to such a fast start. I think they just caught Utah on their heels, and then they were not able to respond. And then you saw Tyrone Corbin trying to find some kind of combination to get back in the game. He wanted the young guys, and he's still staying with them. And what are you going to do when Derrick Rose comes out and you know, he makes five to six from the three-point line? Uh, here's Watson from outside, and then he pours down a three. So, you know, now your two guards have uh, our six for seven from behind the three-point line. Uh, there's a team, nine for 14, shooting 64% from the three-point line. But with that said, defensively have come down, and they've really put a stranglehold on Utah. Utah cannot get in any of their sets. And that is very frustrating to some of their players. You see they're shaking their heads going back down the other end. They've been frustrated at both ends of the floor. Oh. There's uh, Corver. He wanted to dump that into O'Mare. Taj, two hard dribbles. Lost the handle on it. And picked up by Utah. Miles running in. Let's see what they're doing. Give it to him on the oh, continuation. Going to give it to him on the continuation. Will Kennedy right there going to give it to him. I thought he was fouled on the floor. There it is right here. He's going here now. Right there, he's fouled. Well, it looked like CJ fouled. They fouled him at the free throw line. But they called the foul on Brewer. So, well, that's why you want to take that take that call out of the official's hands right there. If you're going to foul him, go ahead and foul him. Don't even let him get it up. Miles completes the three-point play, 44-22. Right now with some breathing room. There's Corbett. Thank you, Kyle. Again, Neil, coming off that single double screen, he is losing Hayward. And Hayward is getting picked every single time. And again, that's what's going to happen to young players. Any kind of separation of Kyle Corbett is going to make you pay. Almost with an interception. That's a block. Mary Sheik with the block. And they got numbers. Two against one. Corver reverse. No. He was off balance, off stride. And just could not finish it. Miles.
Nichols out of the corner. That won't go. Corver tried to keep it alive. And O'Mare dug it away. From Kuzan. Here's Watson. Again. Watson. And again, defensively, Utah not able to get back. They let C.J. Watson near walk right into that three-point shot. Yeah. You see Tyrone Foreman calling for another timeout. 49-22. The Bulls now 10 for 15 from behind the three-point line. Unbelievable here in the first half. about the big changes at Friday's with over 20 fresh, bold new menu items. In fact, we're so confident you'll love one of Friday's new flavors that we'll give you 10 bucks to try another one. So step into Friday's, try something new, and get 10 bucks. In here, it's always Friday. Luxury everywhere you look. First of its kind technology. When your heart and head are saying the same thing, Listen. At the Lincoln Spring Forward event, get an attractive sign-and-drive lease plus four years complimentary maintenance on a Lincoln MKX. It's not just luxury. It's smarter than that. Never miss another game. Text WGN Bulls to 97999 for a heads up before the tip-off each time the Bulls hit the court on WGN. Brought to you by U.S. Cellular. Cubs, Dodgers, live from Vegas, Sunday at 3 on WGN. Nice Powerball jackpot is $54 million. And if you had $54 million, you could buy yourself 95 gold bars at today's prices. And that would weigh over one ton. 95 gold <laughs> bars. <laughs> Didn't say what size the gold bar is, but 95 gold bars would weigh over a ton. 195th of a ton. That would that oh. came from our producer extraordinaire. Did he have a calculator? I think he probably <laughs> did a count on his fingers. <laughs> Evans comes back into the game. Oh, Jeremy Evans checks back in. Karolinko back in. Harris back in. So now they leave Miles and Jefferson out there. Back outside, Harris spinning in and a foul on C.J. Watson. That's a good job right there by the sheet coming over, making sure he doesn't get that continuation. Now watch the sheet right here. There's a foul. If, if Devin Harris is able to get that up on the glass, that's a possible continuation. And we see the rookie of sheet coming in and blocking that. Good job. Fans, tickets for the 2011 NBA playoffs rounds one and two will go on sale on Friday, March 25th at 11 a.m. Visit Bulls.com or 1-800-4-NBA-TIX, the United Center, or Ticketmaster at Friday, March 25th at 11 a.m. Go to Bulls.com for more information. Bulls solidly into the playoffs. Winners of the Central Division. It's a foul, and that's a foul, I believe, on Corver. Yeah, it's on Corver. Trying to set a screen down at the baseline. His first personal. Bulls with a couple of team fouls, and Utah with just one so far in this quarter. Jefferson the fake, and then the shot way off target. And here comes Watson, one against two. Corver. 
get to a drop knee. Oh, that's a nice play right there. <laughs> just trailing the play, and he just walked right into a dunk. Well, that's all set up because guys get out on the ring, and they start running, and they get the defense to have to get back on their heels. And then you see right there, no one was able to pick up Taj Gibson as he was the trailer and went right down the middle of the lane. Overweighted, found him beautifully. Jefferson. That's good defense by a mayor. Challenged the shot right there. Jefferson's a really good post player. 51 26. Kashik. Oh, and there's Taj, and they had to foul him. Uh, Evans took a swipe at him, or else he'd have dunked it again. Well, again, when you have Kyle Forbes, who's capable of coming off this single double screen and hit a jump shot, and you see Karolinko kind of switches out there. Now watch, here it is, keep the floor space. And then you see Amara Sheik take everybody with him as he went first, and as he went down to the block, you saw two Utah Jazz players go with him, and that opened up the drive right there for Taj Gibson to come in as that late trailer. Foul on Evans was his uh, second as he sent Taj to the free throw line. He splits a pair. Well, you see Taj's numbers, very solid. Again, comes in, does what the team needs him to do, whether it's starting or coming off the bench. Jefferson forced outside by O'Mare. Kirilenko, oh, he blocks. They're going to call a block, but that's a walk. Sheik the foul. And that's one right there you like to see. O'Mare, who came over, he got over there and moved his feet. He was just a step too slow. And if yeah, he falls that, down, that's, that is a travel. That was, a, he, that was a travel. But yeah. that's that's where O'Mare has got to learn. He's got to give his body up, like he did against Orlando, against Dwight Howard. He takes that shoulder, takes the charge. He got over there. He's just got to fall down. Orlando, free throw line. 52-27. O'Mare. Uh, first personal, but it, it sends uh, Kirk Thomas back into the game. Watson. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the dead, oh. Everything. oh, my goodness. It's a clinic for the three point line. They might want to think about uh, guarding the point guards for the Bulls. Well, they, they might want to think about trying to get their hands up. I mean, these are uncontested jump shots. There's a Taj with the rebound and a tip free, but picked up by Ronnie Brewer. Here comes Watson again. Harris has got to be having nightmares right now. And the Bulls have a new team record for three pointers and a half. Kirk Thomas for two, short. Oh, this time jumped by Ronnie Brewer. He would have had a clean look at keeping that in. Harris fumbled it, fumbled it, fumbled it, fumbled it. Ah, jump ball. See, that's the defense right there, getting after it. Guys diving on the floor. You, I know Tom Thibodeau loves to see that with his team. Here it is right here. You see Devin Harris a little bit out of control. Gets the ball popped away. Now watch two Bulls players on the floor. The only one on the floor for Utah is Devin Harris. But if you'd have told me that Utah would have only had 27 here in the second quarter, and that's all, I would have not believed that. by Utah. Missed to Jefferson, a loose ball foul over the back. That's a climbing foul on Al Jefferson. And then if you look at their offense, it doesn't seem like the same offense that Jerry Sloan incorporated, that flex cut type offense, pick the picker. It seems like Tyrone Corbin is still the offense is more of a freestyle offense, get the ball into the post and yeah, come I, off of him. I haven't really noticed them running. No, they, they, they haven't. They're wide open. That's a clinic. This is, I'm telling you, it's like watching a, this defense by Utah. Again, it's like watching a bad men's league on Sunday at 3 in the afternoon. 57 27, a 30 point Bulls lead. And you're right, watch uh, offensively. They did set a screen down at the baseline and they got a jump around it. You're so used to seeing Jerry Sloan in that flex cut offense that he made so famous for so many years. They're just not running it now. And that was more precision basketball as the Bulls get a timeout now. They lead by 27, 57 to 30 with 534 left to play until halftime.
Southwest has 11 daily nonstop flights from Chicago Midway to New York via LaGuardia and new service to Newark starting March 27th. Now bags fly free 11 times a day. The rules are different here. Here we serve sliders, not burgers. We're about flavors, not fillers. We're run by family, not a corporation. The only thing big about us is taste. Welcome to White Castle, to 90 years of big, bold flavors and to our new Savor Sack meals. Choose specialty sliders like bacon cheese, A1, chicken rings, and the original slider. Savor Sack starting at $2.99. White Castle, eat original. It's fun to use the internet, the fastest internet you can get unless you work for NASA. You can download movies and music at high speeds, online games move quick like Kung Fu Master. When your speed's number one, uploading pics is fun, so is buying new shoes for your feet. It's fun for you, it's fun for me, you love the net you get with Xfinity. It's fun to up your download speed, the internet you get with Xfinity. Now you see the score 57 to 30 it's been all bulls so far in the first half and uh, there's a look at the great Michael Jordan in the suite upstairs he'll be honored with the rest of his teammates at halftime here's a look at that it's been viewed so many times Jordan changing hands in midair and uh, scoring and I'm sure Michael's looking down and watching uh, Derek here in the first half, Stacey going, this franchise is in pretty good hands. Well, again, I mean, it's like Haley's Comet. You know, it's, you had Jordan, and now you got Derrick Rose. And, you know, when you look at this team, it's very similar to that 91 team. They're built into the right way, built through the draft, got great acquisitions this summer. And there's Tom Hilder up and putting that again. I didn't know you were an astronomer. Well, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's one of the various yes, things. That yes, you're, yes, I am. I I'm you're a man of many interests. Many interests. Uh, I'm multi-talented. You have to be working with you. <laughs> there you go. You keep me sharp, man. Kirilenko wants to pull the trigger and cannot. 61% for the Bulls from the field. That's a block, oh, a block party. Limitations being sent out. Second violation. Guys went out and just ate that for breakfast. Well, you, you see this Utah team. They're trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. This is not a Utah team that can do this. They're used to a system. And you see guys like C.J. Miles trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. You see Taj Gibson come over, great rotation, and he almost blocked that with his elbow. Here he is right there, and he just knocks it out of there. But again, Utah trying to go one-on-one -on -one to try to get back in this game. You gotta, you gotta do a little bit better job defensively. Kyle, that time missed. Just a little off balance when he shot it. 59-30. Harris back outside, but you can see they just look disorganized right now offensively. But they can't collect themselves. And they seem to wait, wait, wait. And there's a foul. As Jefferson is fouled by Kirk Thomas. Well, again, I go back to saying when you're so used to seeing Gary Sloan's structured offense for 20 plus years, and now you see this team because we saw them early, you know, a few weeks ago. You know, this is a totally look like this, this. Is, this is yeah. a totally different looking team right now. And you know what the other thing too, Stacey, is when uh, when Jerry's teams when they did get out and run, they, their spacing yes. was unbelievable. I, I know Pax used to talk about that all the time. Like you, you just never see spacing like yes. guys got out as far as they could and then yes. cut, crossed at the baseline. I'm gonna tell you, they were probably the most fundamentally sound basketball team over the last two years. Fun to watch when you hated playing against him because all the time he was And Derek got it up in the left hand but missed it. And here comes Devin Harris. And then the whistle and offensive foul on Kirilenko. And back to your point, Stacey, about uh, fundamentally sound. And I think that's why, no matter what the talent was there or the talent level, they were always competitive. Oh, because it was a structured system, and he just plugged in guys. You know, you could lose when you when he lost Stockton and Malone. People thought they were done. Then you get Darren Williams there, and they just, I mean, they just reloaded. Oh, knocked out of bounds off of Lou, and that's going to belong to Utah. 59-30. Tom Thibodeau continuing to plead his case with Bill Kennedy. Tom has been a 
breath of fresh air. You know, the way he's got this team believing. I'll tell you what, if, if he's not coach of the year, I don't know who else is. Yeah, I mean, he's, I mean, you go from a team that was the eighth seed last year, won 41 games, and then you look at them this year, I mean, they're, they're going to shatter last year's record. I mean, all stats. Well, and, and you know what, Stacey, and you and I have talked about this before. Do the Bulls have talent? Absolutely. But does talent need to be coached? Just yes. like uh, just like less talent does? Yes. Absolutely. Talent needs to be coached, and he's done a phenomenal job. You're right. And well, and, and again, I think when you've got a, a coach like Tom Thibodeau who's waited a lot of years to get this opportunity, he's going to make the most of it. And the one thing that he came in here and he did was he got the confidence of these players. You know, he's got Derrick Rose playing better defense than he's played his whole career. And that's one of the reasons why when you say when you say MVP, you look at his development, not just on the offensive end, but defensively. He has really done a great job this year defensively, shut down a lot of these top guards. And you know, Neil, there's a lot of good point guards in this league. I mean, every night, there is no night off at the point guard spot. Wow. And you're seeing one tonight. I mean, Devin Harris, we he was an all-star. We talked a couple of years ago about uh, he was right up there with the you know, that top four or five when you talked about young point guards. Here's Karolinko, air ball. Jefferson, though, with it, is his way inside scores. I'm Jefferson. I'll tell you right now, Utah just looks perplexed offensively. They can't get into any of their sets. And it's almost like you know, they're shell shocked with the defensive pressure the Bulls are putting on. There's Dang driving. That's around the rim and out. And Dang got his own rebound. Which is good effort there. Ball not free though, and stolen by Kirilenko to Harris running in, stripped away. And Kurt Thomas ran it down after Corver stripped it. That's good defense right there. There's Rose into the lane and has to bring it back out. Derek looks over at Tom Fibonacci, who wants a set play here. Rose circles, drives, scoop. This is a barrage <laughs> from downtown, 62 30. This, this is like a shooting game. I mean, they're just out there having fun. Wide open jump shots. They are now 12 for 17 from behind the three point line. Kirilenko fouled by Joe no on a timeout taken. 2.06 left to play in the first half. It is 62 34, the Bulls. about Ford with actual owners. How's it going? Good, how are you? Are you driving Ford Fusion? I do. What I really love is the sink. You can hands-free everything. It gives you directions. I love it. Mike. I am driving a Ford Focus. I love it. I save a lot of money on gas with this car. It's exactly what I needed. Look at that. She got her toenails painted, too. Spread the word and get 0% financing for 60 months on the 35-mile-per-gallon Focus and 34-mile-per-gallon Fusion. Well, at this point, I think we should say goodbye. <laughs> That's a fillet of fish, isn't it? With flaky fillet of white fish? Should I go for it? Top with melted cheese and tartar sauce, it's the McDonald's fillet of fish sandwich. Get a single for $249 or a double for $299, but only for a limited time. Time now for our Budweiser Spotlight game brought to you by Budweiser. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds. And you see the final Miami walloped Memphis 118 to 85. So they won two in a row after that losing streak that included the Bulls beating them up down in Miami. And uh, 
Maybe they've got some of their issues sorted out. We'll find out. Uh, you know, Neil, the Bulls can't worry about what they're doing. Nope. They've got their own thing. They're going right now. They find themselves in a nice situation to continue to win ball games. Half game behind Boston coming into tonight's play. And, uh, but, you know, we talked about this, too. I mean, you know, of course you want home court advantage, but when you're an elite team, it doesn't matter if you get home court or not because, you know what, anything can happen in that first two games on the road. They're evident when the Bulls a couple years ago went into Boston and got one of those games out yeah. and got a split. So, you know, home court is important, but if you're an elite team like the Bulls or Boston or, or Miami, you feel comfortable about your chances going on the road in the second round. They'll keep a drive and a foul. Favors That's first. Favors first, team and uh, team foul number four. That was the first foul, actually, in the last two minutes, and Noah gets to the free throw line to shoot a couple. Kids, check out the Bulls basketball schools, basketball camps for kids ages 6 to 14 at over 100 Chicago area locations from June to mid-August. 6-3-0 play ball or visit BullsOxAcademy.com. Presented by Gatorade. Joaquin Noah. Seven points. Dang with ten. Noah with seven. Three for Bogans. Rose with 17. And four rebounds. Or rather two, uh, six rebounds for Kurt Thomas. His first and a penalty situation now for Utah. Minute and a half, 39 left, and then uh, don't you have to go back to the green room or something? Get your <laughs> makeup on? Or? <laughs> See, this will be, be nice to Stacey. Oh, I am. Right? No, you know I'm what? asking. Don't and you have to leave hater. early? You're a hater, Funk. No, okay. don't you have to leave early? You know what? You're the one that wears makeup. I don't wear makeup. I, my face don't is you have to leave a little early? No, I'm happen? staying here until the very end. Okay. And then I'm gonna then I'm gonna bounce and go do what I gotta do with my peeps. Okay? Yeah, okay. I just saw all of them down there. I just to... I'm working with you, man. This is all right. <laughs> I'm not here you know, eating popcorn. I'm chilling with you. Okay. Corver, quick release. Give me the hot sauce. Down again. Give me the hot sauce, Kyle. Woo, I love that hot sauce. That's your time. Money in the bank. If you're Ty Corbin right now, you just got to try to get out of this first half with a little respectability and get in there and try to make some adjustments. You only got about a minute 13 to get that respectability. Is they get it to Kira Linko. He tried to change hands and lost the handle. Here comes uh, Dang, looks the floor over, whipped out. Corver skipped across, Rose. A jab, step, take. Now Corver and Rose play catch. Rose raises up, short. That one looked a little flat. The Jazz come the other way. Kirilenko for three. No I mean, you know, Kirilenko has been really offensive-minded here. Like more than I've ever seen him. There's a steal. As he took it away from Corver, and he thought he was fouled. Jefferson gets a dunk out of it. 66-39. Kirilenko's got up seven shots. Mm -hmm. Here comes Rose, right by everybody. He he is. For the left hand. Uh, too big, too strong, too fast, too good. 68-39. Oh, this is a beat down. And now it is. Utah needs to get back to the locker room and collect themselves. Kevin Harris. A little crossover, but cut off. Long range and air ball picked up by Karolinko. No, and then the putback Raja Bell. And you can see that the uh, just the looks on the Utah faces, they are absolutely stunned. Here comes Rose. He runs into Thomas and throws it at the horn. And it was right on line. 68-41. Here at halftime, the Bulls with a huge lead will be right back. Tonight on WGN News, maybe the biggest protest yet in Madison, pro-union forces show their strength in response to a new law stripping them of collective bargaining rights. Also, Chicago goes green for St. Patrick's Day. Those stories and Jim Ramsey says we could have a midweek warm-up. Join us after the Bulls game.
to the 5 a.m. scholar. The two trains and a bus rider. The I'll sleep when it's done academic. The work to school warrior. To the middle of the night study group. For 80 years, we've been inspired by you. Inspired to grow from our technical school beginnings into the kind of university and graduate school you need today. And we've been honored to walk with you to help you get where you want to be. Because your moment is now. Let nothing stand in your way. Chicago Bulls basketball is brought to you by Budweiser. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds. Now well, we're back. Here's the halftime ceremony. Welcome fans to a special night when we pay tribute to Chicago's first ever NBA championship team. And what a team. Think about it. This team featured three Hall of Famers. 
two players and a head coach and maybe a fourth Hall of Famer because Tex Winter is on the ballot again this year. This was the team that established a legacy, a legacy that holds true today right to the current Bulls. And that legacy is this. When a Bulls team goes to the finals, they don't just show up, they win it. As Tommy mentioned uh, before the highlight package, you know, the spring of 91, what great thrills, the sweep of the Knicks, beating the Sixers four games to one. Oh, did I mention they swept the Detroit Pistons? So that's what we're all about tonight, celebrating the 91 champion Bulls. And before we get to the coaches and players, many of whom are here tonight, I want to introduce the Bulls president and chief operating officer, Michael Reinsdorf, who will be presenting various gifts to our guests tonight. We start with the coaches. And unable to be here tonight, he was an assistant coach with the Bulls for seven seasons. That's Jim Clemens. Also unable to attend, the architect of the famed Triangle Offense, a member of the College Basketball Hall of Fame, Tex Winter. Now the next assistant coach we do have with us tonight, he went as, as an assistant for 11 seasons with the Bulls. He was a defensive specialist who originated the famed Doberman defense. 50 years in coaching, Johnny Bach. In his second year as head coach of the Bulls, he would guide them to their first title and then win six all together. He's won five championships with the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's hear a message now from Hall of Fame coach Phil Jackson. Now the playoffs and the first championship was so wrapped with emotion. First of all, finishing off Detroit in four games and uh, going in to play L.A., which was a story team from the 80s, the decade before. And uh, losing the first game on a buzzer beater, basically a shot that wouldn't go in that Michael took. Uh, and then having the opportunity to win uh, four consecutive games was truly an exciting moment for all of us. All of us bowls will never forget it. Um, you know, Michael having to give up scoring at the end of the fifth game and just hit packs for shot after shot in the fourth quarter of the Clinton Championship was a sign of true team work and it, what it took for that team to succumb uh, to the idea of just playing together, finding a way to win. A very exciting moment for all of us, a giddy moment. But we learned, we learned a lot, we learned how to win. And it was just the start of something big. And now the players from the 90-91 Bulls championship team. He was acquired from the Nets in 1990, the third overall pick in the 87 draft from Ohio State. He appeared in 67 games off the bench. Number two, Dennis Thompson. Instant offense off the bench, a savvy veteran and a consummate team player, 
at both ends of the court. Good news, number 53, Cliff Livingston. The only rookie addition to the squad that season, another strong performer off the bench, and a member of the Bulls' first three championships, number 42, Scott Williams. A Bulls first round draft pick in 1988. He came off the bench in all 17 playoff games. A four time NBA champion and my colleague on the NBA on ESPN Radio, number 32, Will Purdue. Our next player was deadly from the three-point line. This sharpshooter finished the playoff shooting 39% from beyond the arc. Set a club record for three-pointers made. Two-time NBA champion with the Bulls. He twice led the league in three-point shooting. Number 14, Craig Hodges. He was the sixth overall pick in the 89 NBA draft, contributed strong play off the bench, winning three titles with the Bulls. Along with Neil Funk, he brings you exciting Bulls action right into your living room. Number 34, Stacy King. player came off the bench to run the offense playing in all 17 games finishing third on the team in steals he had 18 points in a first round victory over the Knicks he was one of only four players that season to appear in every game holds the Bulls team record for most consecutive games played unable to be here tonight the popular number 10 BJ Armstrong Our next player finished the 91 playoffs first in field goal percentage, second in rebounds, third in scoring, 13 points and seven rebounds in the NBA Finals, a four-time NBA champion, number 54, Horace Grant. A 15-year NBA veteran, he spent six seasons with the Bulls, a five-time NBA champion as both player and coach who provided leadership on the court and was a fierce force in the post at both ends. Unable to be here tonight, number 24, Bill Cartwright. He started all 82 games that season. How clutch was this guy? Now the executive vice president of basketball operations for the Bulls, number five, John Paxson. He finished the 91 season second in scoring, rebounds, and assists from Central Arkansas.
90-91 Chicago Bulls World Championship team, Scotty Pippen and Michael Jordan. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, I want to thank the Chicago Bulls organization for uh, being able to pull this together to bring back a memory that we all want to live again just one more time. This is very special for us. Thank you. Thank you for sticking with us back in the 90s. It was a great journey. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to thank the Bulls organization for allowing me to come back, allowing for us to reunite with our team. One guy that we're missing that was a part of our team, Johnny Red Kerr. He was just as much a part of this team as anybody else. Uh, you guys are in store for a lot of other championships. You look at this team tonight. Don't be surprised if you don't have six more coming. But from the bottom of my heart and from, the, from all the players here, I want to thank you for all your dedicated support on the court, off the court, in retirement, not in retirement. We thank you very much for everything you've given us. again for being a part of this. Remember that 91 team always said this first one, that's for you. This copyrighted telecast of the NBA may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise used without the express written consent of the NBA. Visit NBA.com or watch NBA TV for NBA news and tonight's video highlights. Welcome back to Hack Job. Today, we're with the Gilberts. Okay, guys, are you ready to see your new kitchen? <laughs> Let's go! Take a look! Oh, here we go! It looks amazing! You didn't do anything. We just put Bud Light on the counter. Exactly! It totally opens it up. We gave it a fun vibe. Clearly, this is a room people want to hang out it's in. It's the sure sign of a good time. It's just right taste of Bud Light. Here we go. The landscapers are here. Nice! I got the world on a string, sitting on a rainbow, got the string around my finger, what a world, man, this is a lie, hey now, I'm so in love. You can see it, Harris can help make it happen, Harris Commercial Bank. There's a lot of buzz about the big changes at Friday's with over 20 fresh, bold new menu items, like our premium black Angus sirloin and grilled shrimp scampi. 
or our sizzling dragon fire salmon. And you know what? We're so confident you'll love one of Friday's bold new flavors that we'll give you 10 bucks to try another one. So step into Friday's, try something new, and get 10 bucks. If you haven't been to Friday's lately, you haven't been to Friday's. In here, it's always Friday. I vow to get up as early as you. I vow to haul whatever you can fit in my bed and tow whatever you hitch me to. I vow to be the best Sierra ever. And now during GMC Truck Month, you can get 0% financing for 72 months on the best Sierra ever. GMC Truck Month, now at your GMC dealer. Are you and your gray hair facing an identity crisis? My hair says experience. My hair says energy. Touch of gray. The best of both combs away a little gray, never too much, just right. Now I look like I know what I'm doing and can still do it. Touch of gray. Bulls next. Thursday night at 6 on WGN. Well, welcome back uh, to Bulls basketball here at the United Center. A stirring halftime show put on by the Bulls honoring the 1991 NBA champs including Hall of Famer Scotty Pippen and Michael Jordan and uh, just a well received here at halftime 68 to 41 the Bulls lead the Utah Jazz and here's a look at the first half numbers and they were overwhelming for the Bulls 54 percent to 34 percent look at the three point field goals Utah one of four the Bulls 13 for 20 and Derrick Rose was six or rather five for eight from behind the three point line 17 assists for the unselfish Bulls at 29 to 10 the bench outscores Utah's bench. We'll have more coming your way here from the United Center with the Bulls up 68 41 right after this timeout. Chicago Bulls basketball has been brought to you by Budweiser. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds. Mega Millions. And now, Powerball from the Illinois Lottery. Harris, official bank of the Chicago Bulls. U.S. Cellular, believe in something better. And by Ford. Get to your local Ford store for award-winning cars, trucks, and SUVs with low financing and big cash back. Visit localfordstores.com and drive one. Android-powered phones are lightning fast, have thousands of cool apps, and when you switch to U.S. Cellular, couldn't be easier to get. It's so easy, you can take home five free ones. Head to U.S. Cellular and get up to five free LG Optimus U phones with swipe technology for faster texting when you buy one Samsung Mesmerize for just $99.99. Only when you switch to U.S. Cellular. Nothing that works like confidence. Especially with all this to back it up. At the Lincoln Spring Forward event, get an attractive sign and drive lease plus four years complimentary maintenance from the Lincoln MKZ. It's not just luxury, it's smarter than that. We've all been there face to face with the list, the honey do list. But with CLR, it's easy to cut the list down to size. Start in the bathroom with that shower head. Give it a quick dip in some CLR and see how strong it can really run. CLR is great for the washer and dishwasher too. Same thing with the coffee maker. For its best tasting brew, use CLR to clean your tools and make them shine. And CLR is safe for the environment. CLR has what you need to make fast work of any cleaning job around your house. CLR is available at these stores. Sunday, we're heading south to awaken your taste buds with the best of the far south burbs. Check out Chicago's Best, Sunday night at 10 on WGN.
fans, don't forget to visit the WGN Sports Game Zone brought to you by Galaxy Home Remodeling. Go to WGNTV.com, click on the Game Zone for the latest stats and information. The Game Zone available for every Bulls game and is brought to you by Galaxy Home Remodeling, the chosen home remodeler of the Chicago Bulls. Neil Funk, Stacy King, how'd that feel? That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun uh, seeing the guys all together again. And you know, the Bulls did a great job of putting this together and, you know, bringing everybody back. Yeah, it's hard. It's a hard deal because you got so many guys, Phil coaching the Lakers, you know, Michael in Charlotte, you doing what you do. But finding, getting guys to come in from around the country when they have other jobs is tough, especially when they're NBA jobs. Well, and it goes to show you the love that these guys have for the Bulls organization to come back and get out of their busy schedules. But you know what? This is a great city. The fans are super, and, you know, we'll always re be remembered here. And that's one of the great things about being a Chicago Bull. And uh, Michael, in his remarks, he and Scotty spoke at the end. And Michael, having watched the first half of this one, suggested that the Bulls were probably going to have a few more banners hanging in this building. And uh, very gracious in, in what he said. And I thought indicated the great regard he has not only for the franchise, but for this particular team, and in particular, uh, Derrick Rose. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, when you, the greatest player on the tells you that uh, he's in all of this team. It's a remarkable thing. Well, the Jazz bring it to begin the third quarter, hoping to get off to a better start than they did back in the first. And the Bulls reeled off the first 12 points of the game. Jefferson spinning and twisting and made it tough, did Kirk Thomas, and then the ball out of bounds. And that's going to go to the Jazz. Kirk Thomas just made it tough on Jefferson. Oh, right now, if you're the Utah Jazz, you just got to try to get one possession at a time, but you've got to put consecutive defensive stops on the other end. The Bulls had way too many easy shots. Raja Bell, he pokes in a three, and that starts off the quarter well for Ty Corbin and his Utah Jazz. 68-44. Bulls with the lead, and you know that the NBA is teams generally make a run. See if the Bulls can stave that off. There's Rose. I'll tell you what, you saw Mr. Evans right there. He did not want to get over there and try to challenge Dean Rose. Again, that's one of those back scratching dunks that we have been seeing all year long. Explosive. Now first, he started the game pouring in threes. Now he takes his first possession, dunks one, and here he comes again. Center of the floor, lead pass, Noah running in, and he has had his arm pinned by Raja Bell. He'll get to the free throw line. Bell, the Personal foul. Here it is right here. You see Devin Harris just yeah, basically Evans. caught a cold. Evans he blew by him. And then Evans, but you're right, he wanted to get out of there. Look at him. Well, oh, look at no. him. He did not want any part of that right there. And you can see once Derrick Rose gets up in the air right there, you do not want to make a poster. I mean, quite honestly, I'd like to make a poster, but Mr. Evans doesn't want to be in one. He doesn't want to be on it. And there's uh, Joaquin Noah in the game with eight points, staring at number nine here. Noah with five boards, nine points. And a big part of that active defense. Bell, and he was feeling it, but the Bulls come running. Deng runs right into a three, and that was rimming it out. Again, the Bulls are getting easy shots. I mean, coming down in transition without a hand in your face. There's your guy, Karolinko, unloading from the baseline. He's 0 for 8, 0 for 9. He's got three points off from the free throw line. And a three by Keith Bogan. Well, why not? Is it raining? Uh, you know what? It's raining Jays here in Chicago. Man, everybody's getting in the act now. Keith Bogan's two for five from the three-point line. The Bulls have knocked down 14 of 22 from behind the arc. Evans leaned on by Thomas. You can see Kurt with that low center of gravity, just not allowing Jefferson to get a dribble toward the lane. 
look at Utah's offense just taking a little bit too long to get into stuff. There's Joe Keane. Nice. Even though he missed that shot, that's what you want to see Joe Keane do. Be a threat. Yeah, be a threat down on the block. They throw it down there to you. That's a nice jump hook. Just was off with his off hand. Jefferson acted as if he were going to shoot it. Thomas wasn't buying that. There's a wah back door, and that's loose. And finally picked up by Noah. Noah on the run. Noah down the lane. Noah running in, and the ball knocked off and went out of bounds. And I know Joe was trying to be aggressive, but he might have wanted to try to find uh, either Derek or Keith. Joe King has shown you those skills where he can hand the ball right there, but one time he got it knocked away. Go. Wyatt Windmills went up, then rebounds it and goes back up and scores. That's his first bucket of the night. One for 11. And if he pulls down, you don't get complacent. You want to continue to execute your offense, continue to really put your foot on their throat. You don't even give them any kind of hope here. As you said, you know, this is the NBA team will make runs. Fall away baseline. That hits the corner of the board. He had to hurry that to beat the shot clock. And uh, on the run, Harris, and he's fouled. And you can see quickly Tom Thibodeau will get Gibson back into the game. And Joaquin, I believe, will come out. I'm calling Kurt Thomas in second. First team with 9.6 rebounds tonight. Didn't score last night. Devin Harris at the free throw line makes the first Harris with five points in the game. Fans get a jump on great season tickets for next year. See the NBA playoffs this year. It's the playoff payoff. Make a deposit on next year's season tickets and you can get seats for every upcoming playoff game. 312 455 4000. Ask about the playoff payoff. Rose trying to get a shot up and he's going to get to the line to get a couple up. Look at the, the hustle points, as we like to say. The Bulls 14 fast break points to Utah 7. They don't have the second chance points tonight, but they do have a lot of awesome offense rebounds and points in the paint. They have 20. But again, you go back to that three point percentage 64% from the three point line. Karolinko, the foul, his second. Jazz, second team foul. Derek with 21 in the game, 17 of those in the first quarter. Bulls in the first half, Stacy. New team record for three point field goals made in a quarter. And a new team record for three point field goals made in a half. And a new season high for points in the first quarter. So, Bulls had it going. And not much Utah could do to stop it. Miles a miss and high in the air is Taj Gibson. Well, yeah, you gotta really like the Bulls thrust. When they get this rebound, they're really looking to push the ball against Utah. Dang wide open. Nope, wouldn't go. Thomas battling, battling, and uh, finally the longer Karolinko able to tip a three. Okay, Thomas doing a good job on the boards. He's got seven rebounds. He's done a terrific job on Jefferson. He just does not let Jefferson get to the post. This time he does on a little drive, but he'll have to earn it at the free throw line. Well, again, you know, it tells you how valuable a guy like Kirk Thomas is. You know, we talked about it last night. You know, he's been on the bench for a couple of weeks now, and with Carlos Boozer being injured, now he's thrust back into the starting lineup. He had 13 rebounds last night, so he's always ready to play. Charitable sends out a big thank you to McDonald's for donating $25 for every Bulls slam dunk and to Verizon Wireless for donating $2 for every Bulls point. The Bulls with a bunch of points tonight, 77, and we still have 729 left to play in the third. Well, oh, there's a whole Utah to 50 points here in three quarters. It's goes to show you how good a defensive team this Bulls team is. Bulls and the runner by Dang just went way down in and jumped out. 
And he'll get back to the free throw line. Miles the foul. Third team foul on the Jazz. Bang. Blue with a big game last night. Double digits tonight, 11 points, three rebounds, five assists. You know, the first few years for Lou, his assist numbers were low. I don't want to say extraordinarily low because he had some injury issues, but but they were low. Now his assist numbers are up there with the elite players. Well, I, t I tell you what, you know, he's much more comfortable in his role offensively on this team. It's the double down, but uh, Jefferson able to step through it and score. Not to rehash last year, but Danny Del Negro's offense, the wall dang was just basically a spot up shooter. I mean, now you look at Tom Thibodeau's offense, this is more of a motion offense where you can take advantage of his slashing. He got a shot block there, but again, he's just aggressive going to the basket. Carol Inko, the break. Thibodeau, see what he wants. Maybe he might get a quick timeout, but he lets a play on 78-54. By Thomas, rows on loads, in and out, no good. Miles, he feeds Bell. He fed Harris, he fed Miles. And Bell for Carolinko, and Carolinko's going to get to the free throw line. Now call on Keith Logan, this is first. Continue to play, continue to really be aggressive against Utah. You got them on their heels. And you see Karolinko's numbers right there, 2 of 12. Just struggling to find his shot. 3 of 4, now 4 of 5 from the free throw line. If you look at a guy like Devin Harris, who's only got 7 points, he's only taken 2 shots. He's gone to the free throw line 8 times, though. But we're so used to seeing him in New Jersey and Dallas really pushing the ball in transition and getting to the foul line. Well, it just looks like Utah, and I think you're right, Stacey, you, you give credit to the Bulls' defense, but it looks like Utah has had Kobe on another three. It looks like Utah doesn't have much of a, a game plan offensively. I mean, one pass, and then they're kind of stuck as what to do. The ball fake the drive. He threw it up and he drew a foul. Now, at least Utah now is trying to be a little more aggressive and get to the line. Harris will be there when we come back. Taj Gibson, the foul, his second, the team's third, and a timeout taken. 81 56. The Bulls with the lead. We'll be right back. Bud Light, like most advertisers, were going to run a 3D commercial this year. In fact, we made one, but it didn't test well. Here we go. Actually, it tested too well. We concluded that running this commercial would have been inappropriate, okay. so we didn't. You're welcome, America. It's the sure sign of a good time. The just right taste of Bud Light. Here we go. You folks have any questions? Just let me know. It really is a great time to buy. Honda's got more number one best sellers than any other car maker. Wow. Really big buttons. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Ties crooked. Hurry in to Honda's Really Big Thing sales event. For great leases and low financing, see your Honda dealer. really delicious, Mom. It's not too well done. Nope, but it is a job well done. What are you reading, sweetie? Her diary. When you're done, and love some feedback. Sure. Your mom and I read that thing cover to cover. Loved it. Thanks. Would you mind if I cut the lawn this weekend? Only if you let me talk to your mother on the phone for hours on end. Done. UVerse brings peace to the family. AT&T UVerse lets you record four shows at once from any room and play them back on any TV. Get UVerse TV for only $29 a month for six months. In the network, everyone can get along. 
Tuesday, March 15th, the Bulls and the Wizards here at the United Center of the Bulls and Budweiser will celebrate St. Patrick's Day with Bulls t-shirts while supplies last. And it's all courtesy of Budweiser. Tickets 1-800-4-NBA-TIX or visit Bulls.com. You're going to see Devin Harris when we come back here get the foul line. And that's something you've you got to continue to do. You look at the turnovers right now. You saw it's 10 turnovers. 35% shooting, 33% from the three-point line. But they have gotten to the free throw line 21 times. And I'm going to tell you, you see right there, you see Tyrone Corbin. He's going to be a good coach. You know, it's a tough situation to come in the middle of the season after a legend like Jerry Sloan and how everything went down and they have to come in and try to establish yourself. Well, and then you touched on it. Then you trade away your star right after that, too. So you're stepping in to a legend's shoes. You got uh, Darren Williams, a, a, an all-star, and all of a sudden he's gone. I'm going to tell you that he's, he's going to be a very, very good coach. He's, he's the right man for the job. And then he's able to get in there and get his team and have a training, to a training camp and, put, and really put his system in and put his stamp on what he wants to do as a coach. Hooked uh, up in the air and knocked out of bounds. Bulls will have it with eight to shoot. Just one of the good guys in the NBA. Former DePaul Blue Demon. And paid his dues. You see he's got Jeff Hornacek over there on the sidelines. So he's got, he's got some good... Coaches. He's got uh, Scott Layden. Scott Layden. Frank Layden is the uh, son. Scott Layden is the general manager of the Knicks. We did lose uh, when they lost Jerry, though, veteran Phil Johnson. So, and that and that really would have helped Tyrone Porter. Yeah, you know, and, and Phil Johnson stayed because you get a veteran coach like that with a young coach. He's able to help him, guide him through some things, and you know, basically lead him. You know, his first year or so. As Phil Jackson had Tex Winter and Johnny Bach when he first came in. You know, and so Phil Johnson decided to step away. But again, Utah's a great franchise. They'll get it going again. And they're in a kind of a rebuilding stage right now. And you lose an all-star player like Darren Williams. They have to make up for it somehow. But they are a strong franchise, great leadership, and they'll be back. 82-57. He goes, I don't know, De Devin Harris, he won't go there again. There's the shovel and Al Jefferson dunks nice fine and feed by Karolinko. 82-59. He rose along with Bogans, Bang, Thomas, and Ty Gibson. There's a steal. Karolinko to Miles, tried to volleyball it back and threw it away for Thomas. Quick hands. Boy, that he has good. fast hands. Well, that was a good hustle right there by Lou Day. Getting back on a two on one break, and that's really got to upset Tyrone Porter because you've got to convert. When you have numbers like that, you've got to convert. Rose turns on the Jets down the lane. Wouldn't fall. And he's going to get to the free throw line. Devin Harris, his third. And D. Rose with a couple coming, 424 left here in the third quarter. 82-59. One of the things, Neil, you look up there in that last play right there by Derrick Rose, they isolated him at the top of the circle. And you didn't see one jazz player come over to help Devin Harris until Derrick was already going to the basket. can't say this kid's not the MVP. He has played remarkable all season long. And again, you're without Carlos Boozer for an extended, an extended period of time. Uh, he's been endorsed by everybody from Michael Jordan to Miami Heat players to that's three on Taj Gibson to you and me. Yes. Uh, just about anybody we talk to, coaches, assistant coaches. And the thing that really bothers me is, that, you know, you start listening to some of these guys in the national broadcast and, you know, trying to tell you why he shouldn't be 
the MVP, and the reasons are all wrong. You know, he's, you know, he's only been in the league three years. So what? You know what? If he's the best player, if he's the best player, which he has been all season long, then he should be the MVP. You, know, you hear all these guys all oh, well. I don't want to call no names out. I don't want to call them out on national television, but they know who they are. But you hear all this, well, he doesn't play defense. Oh, that's, or that's, his, that's his assist numbers or, you know, LeBron is the best player. Man, please. Yeah, LeBron. No. Logan. Crying out loud, Dwayne Wade might be the best player on that team. Well, I mean, you, they're, you know, the, the guy, they're the both guy, are great players, but I mean, you know, you can't discredit what Amari Stoudemire is doing in New York, but again, that's a team that's a six seed right now. And you can't discredit what a guy like, you know, Kevin Nevitsky, Durant does every Kevin night. Durant does every night. I mean, Nevitsky really, in, in my opinion, is about the closest one to Derek. If you, if Dwight Howard, those are my top three guys. And yeah, all you got to do, yeah. Stacey, is look at what happened to Dallas when Nevitsky was out. Yes. And you know what, Neil? They've, they've had one of the best records the last month and a half of the season. They've only lost like three or four times. And he's a big reason why. And if you want to came back from injury. Exactly. If you want to you want to say who's there's Derrick Rose and then who are the other two guys? And I would say it would be Dirk Nowitzki and it would be Dwight Howard. And then you have Durant fourth. And I would probably put LeBron James fifth or Dwayne Wade. Or Amari Stoudemire. How oh, yes. much has he meant to that team? Yes. Before. And then you hear people give Kevin Love some love. And, and, and don't get me wrong. The thing that, you know, what Kevin Love has done this year, consistent. Being able to get a double-double, I mean, that's a remarkable, remarkable feat. But again, his team's not winning. You know, that's the, you know, that's the bottom of the, you know, division team. So you really can't put him in that discussion. But those three guys, Derrick Rose first, and then however you want to put everybody else, Nowitzki, Dwight Howard, Durant. And you see Utah going to a zone now trying to mix it up. You know, some people are saying, Poke away and running in, Miles will dunk the ball. CJ Miles. Well, Miles dunks, 84-65. Now, you want to, there's a near foul, and then uh, Rose gets it across and gets a timeout. So, the Jazz with a little bit of a run, but 3.02 remaining here in the third, and Tom Thibodeau wants to settle his troops down. We'll be right back. I vow to get up as early as you. I vow to haul whatever you can fit in my bed and tow whatever you hitch me to. I vow to be the best Sierra ever. And now during GMC Truck Month, you can get 0% financing for 72 months on the best Sierra ever. GMC Truck Month, now at your GMC dealer. It's fun to catch up on the twists they're talking about. It's fun to watch new movies right away. They're on demand, not on delay. If you're through with satellite, come on and shout. It's fun for you. It's fun for me. Come on, everybody, do Xfinity. Come on, everybody, do Xfinity. Basketball greatness begins at the 2011 McDonald's All-American Games on March 30th at the United Center. Tickets start at $10, parking free. Get your seats at Ticketmaster now and witness history in the making. Let's see if Utah stays in this zone, Neil. We went to a little 2-3 zone. Right before that timeout by the Bulls, got that turnover by C.J. Miles. Looks like they're going to stay in it. Right. Settle oh, back man, in, man. 
at the man to man. Inside Joe Keane. Outside Derek flashes to the lane. And three seconds. Three seconds to for Thomas. So took too long for the play to develop. And the Bulls turn it over. Well, that's two straight turnovers right there. I think they did a good job in the first half of taking care of the basketball. Bell. Here we go. Jefferson backing, backing, turns, blocked by Thomas. And uh, blocked uh, Jefferson's head as well. Here comes Dang, and then, oh, my goodness. Thomas runs over. Oh, uh, that was uh, Devin that was Harris right flopped. there by Devin Harris. He just flopped. He just ran right in front of Kirk Thomas and just fell down. Another three straight turnovers. The Bulls, 465. You don't want to get into that mode. That's such a big lead. There's a collision of offensive foul on Raja Bell, and dang slow getting up as he went down. Or rather, Ronnie Brewer went down. He both got tangled up right there as he was trying to pop out and get the ball. Corver came quickly to the scorer's table and misspoke. It was Brewer, not Dan. There they are. They're back in that zone now. And there's another turnover. It's two turnovers when they've gone to that two zone. Minutes. Two turnovers. Miles for three. Nope. And Noah snaps down the rebound. And the Bulls. A little sloppy with the ball here. Five turnovers in this quarter. So they stay in the zone. Yeah. Two, three, and Bulls trying to solve it. Brewer. And off, and there's another turnover. Jabell on the run. Karolinko cross court. And that's deflected down the middle. It's going to belong to Utah. I'll tell you what, the Bulls have not handled the zone well. Well, the one thing they're doing right now, they're not attacking the zone in the middle. They're staying out on the perimeter. You got to get some kind of movement, guys flashing in the heart of the lane and try to get that zone to collapse. And when you get that to happen, then you can swing the ball for an open jump shot on the weak side. Miles, jump down. Jefferson, jumper going. They're slowly crawling back into the game. Jefferson's got a nice game. Got it going. 84 67. Okay. The Bulls have been scored 26 to 16 in this quarter. Go up. They got it to the center of the floor and then back out. And with a jumper from the right wing. That's what we just talked about. You got to get some kind of movement flashing to the ball in the heart of the lane. Kirilenko trying to run in. He's grabbed by Noah and fouled. Noah his third. And a penalty situation now for Utah. Both teams in the penalty. Kirilenko. Bulls fans, tickets for the 2011 NBA playoffs rounds one and two go on sale on Friday, March 25th at 11 a.m. Visit Bulls.com, the United Center, or Ticketmaster, or call 1 800 4 NBA Ticks TIX. That's Friday, March 25th at 11 a.m. <laughs> Left hands it up short. Rebound Lou back up good and one. Yeah, Blaine right there is showing you. Just stays with it. Goes in, gets the contact. Yeah, watch here. Drive. Dishes off. And he gets the offense rebound. Great offensive position right there. Goes right up. And you see Jefferson right there get him with the lower body. And watching Lou and then Utah tips that out of bounds. Now watching Lou, he, he's not a great leaper, but he has great timing and great instinct about when to leave his feet. Well, he's so long. I mean, you look yeah. at his wingspan, he, he's, he kind of surprises you a little bit with his athleticism, but again, he's so long. There's Rose, short, Noah, and then he had it dug away, ball kicked. That's a kick ball, and uh, going to belong to Utah. 
thing about that 2-3 zone as you saw Joe King go in there and get that offensive rebound you're going to give up a ton of rebounds because it's tough to rebound out of that 2-3 because you get guys out of position and your big guys are have to go out in the corners and cover so you take your big guys away from the rim and you saw Joe King get that offensive rebound just wasn't able to get a handle on it. Raja Bell that was the third foul on Noah. Bell down the first free throw. Here comes Corver in, and Brewer, who was shaken up a few moments ago, comes out. And right now, Noah, along with uh, Kurt Thomas, then Rose and Corver. Bell made two free throws, 88-71. Still a healthy lead for the Bulls, but no question, Utah has made some inroads here in this quarter. Did it by changing up their defense. Now they come back man to man. Rose. Bang. Jumper. In and out. Tapping no and no. And then we'll do it for the quarter. We've got 12 more minutes of basketball. The Bulls still up by double digits. 88 71. We head to the fourth. Right after this. Tonight on WGN News, trouble at Japan's nuclear plants, the race to prevent a disaster, and what it could mean for us after the Bulls game. I was in my last year of college. 13 years old. I was 12. 14. My favorite Cubs memory on WGN. September 16th, 1972. The wind was blowing out. It was Billy Williams' day. Kerry Woods' 20 strikeout game. Bert Hooten hit a grand slam. Division clinching game in Pittsburgh. They lost 23 to 22. I saw it all on Channel 9. That's a fillet of fish, isn't it? With flaky fillet of white fish? Should I go for it? Top with melted cheese and tartar sauce, it's the McDonald's fillet of fish sandwich. Get a single for $2.49 or a double for $2.99, but only for a limited time. This is the network. A living, breathing intelligence that's helping business rethink how to do business. In here, inventory can be taught to learn. In here, machines have a voice. In here, medical history follows you, even when you're away from home. It's the AT&T Network, a network of possibilities, creating and integrating solutions, helping business and the world work. Rethink possible. It's easy to picture yourself in a Hyundai CUV. Like the Tucson, it gets 31 miles per gallon. Or the Santa Fe, with more passenger room than the Toyota RAV4. Plus, they're both top safety picks for 2011. Now, get a special $299 lease or 0% APR on the 2011 Santa Fe. And complete the picture at your Hyundai dealer. Visit MyHyundaiChicago.com today. Closed captioning brought to you by Galaxy, the chosen home remodeler. 773-783-8300-CALL-GALAXY. Now the Jazz outscore the Bulls 30-20 to in that third quarter. After the Bulls had dominated them in the first half. The Bulls still with 88 points at the end of three quarters. Well, Utah did a much better job defensively. The Bulls shot 31% in that quarter. Jazz shot 47. There's Dang, finger roll good. Just popped right on into the basket. And right now, Tom Thibodeau has gone back to his bench with the exception of Noah and Dang. Romero Sheik, along with Watson and Corver. Well, now you can see them staying in the zone. That's a nice move right there by Devin Harris. Now you've got a couple of guys that can really stretch that zone in C.J. Watson and Kyle Corver. Stay in it. Corver. Watson. He had one it looked like, and then he fed it along the baseline. And that thing is fouled. Well, that was good movement right there. You saw like a little wheel action. The they brought Corver off, and he just basically came off, set a screen by Amir Sheik. 
And you saw C.J. Watson had a wide open jump shot. Didn't take it. Yeah. But again, you see the movement in the zone. That's one reason why Tom Thibodeau went out there and brought in C.J. Watson and Kyle Corver to get Utah out that zone. Miles comes out of the game. And Watson checks in for Utah. Moves that dang against Watson. Too big for him. Got a shot and missed it. Roger Bell flipped down. He's out for Tell you what, Al Jefferson's having a solid game. Well, he's having a solid points. second half. He struggled there early, but he, you're right. I, 26 points, 14 rebounds. About really, when they got him the ball down low, he's made something happen. They don't stay in this zone. They've got themselves back in the game. Watson. Well, that's how you get about that zone. You make some shots, you stretch them out a little bit. And CJ Watson again coming off the bench playing well. He's got 12 points off the bench. He has not missed a shot tonight, Neil. Three of three from the three-point line. Devin Harris coming to life now. Harris with 14 points. Second to Jefferson with his 26. And Tom Thibodeau didn't like what he was watching, so he gets a timeout. 92-77. And 10 minutes left as the Bulls try to keep on rolling. Sure sign of a good time. It's just right taste of Bud Light. Here we go. Here we go. These days, I have the world at my fingertips. Not because I'm a gigantic celebrity, but because I have Xfinity. I can search for movies and shows, change channels, even watch, all from my iPad. Now, with the Xfinity TV app, you can watch movies and shows, even change channels right on your iPad. Switch to Xfinity and get TV, Internet, and voice for $29.99 each per month for a year when you bundle all three. Or step up to an HD triple play and get up to $200 back. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. I vow to get up as early as you. I vow to haul whatever you can fit in my bed. And tow whatever you hitch me to. I vow to be the best Sierra ever. And now during GMC Truck Month, you can get 0% financing for 72 months on the best Sierra ever. GMC Truck Month, now at your GMC dealer. Want to get a heads up for all Bulls telecasts on WGN TV? Just, just text WGN Bulls to 97999. Brought to you by U.S. Cellular Believe and Something Better. Neil Funk, Stacy King at the sold out United Center. 22,885. Delighted to be here. Dang slices in, right hand on the left side. Well, you can see that zone now. There's a lot of cracks in it. Well, Dang just exploited it from the wing. Again, we're going to run this zone. Guys have got to cover a lot of areas, especially the 2 3. You're not used to playing it. Oh oh man, that was just a. You're not going to get back in the game, knocking up shots like that, especially when you're 2 for 13. TJ Watson shovels and uh, shoot. We'll get to the free throw line. Omer. For two shots. Al Jefferson, his third. Al Jefferson, his third. And the second team foul on Utah. And you probably see Utah come out of that zone now. This group has been able to exploit it. Dribble penetration, drive and kick. And well, Dang has had a couple of layups in his zone. C.J. Watson right there with a nice drive. Breaks down the top of the circle. Is able to dish the ball off to Rookie Ashik. Omer. Oh, he looks more comfortable at the line, but he 
first two there. There's a double clutch. And that's Harris just baited the official into that ball. Well, he's going to initiate contact, and that's what you. He was in New Jersey. He'd go to the free throw line almost 10 times a game the last couple of years. Jones hurt a lot in uh, Jersey in the last season and a half or so. And they moved into Utah for Darren Williams. We'll see if it works out for Devin Harris. Uh, if you remember, when he was in Dallas. Uh, he was uh, highly valued. Oh, my goodness. I mean, he really got the Dallas Mavericks going on the fast break. And, to make that trade for Jason Kidd and it's right. worked, it worked out in the beginning it worked out for both teams New Jersey when he was there early he really played well but he got hurt and you know just nagging injuries here and there and then that team kind of lost some pieces and just just difficult for him to really capture that magic that he had in Dallas and it's Kurt that spun out and Lou had a hand on it but couldn't hang on 16 points, but he got 12 of from the free throw line. Watson. Here only go. Jefferson turns and misses. It might have been foul, but no ball. Looked like uh, Kirk maybe got a piece of his arm that time. Here's Joe Keen right down the lane. And again, when you big guys get out and run, you got to reward them. And Kyle Porter that time patient on the offensive end. A nice pass out to Joaquin Noah for an easy layup. Harris missed on his drive, but the ball back tapped out to Utah. Joe Watson against Derrick Rose. Lob down the baseline and a push. That's on Kurt Thomas. His fifth and five. Second team foul. Taj will come in to protect Kurt. It's a nice thing about uh, Tom Thibodeau's bench. Thomas, Gibson, Noah, and a sheet kind of interchangeable. When one gets in foul trouble, you've got another direction you can go. Well, they have so much depth in the front court. That was always been one of the really right there. But that was always been one of the, the weaker points of the bull. They just didn't have those big guys. And now they can run three, four, five guys at you at that power forward center position. Got a lot of fouls to give up. But those, those guys are not only, not only can they give a lot of fouls, but they're very effective at what they do. Kurt Thomas is great in the pick and pop game. Joe Keen with his energy. You got Taj Gibson coming off the bench. He does a great job of, you know, doing the dirty work. Now we know a Sheik isn't going to back down when teams throw a Shaquille O'Neal or a whoever it might be at him, he's going to come ready to play. So you're right. You know, come playoff time when you get into those grinded out games. Nice to have that luxury with all those points. Uh, there you go. You know what, Karolinko? Joe King likes the barbecue. He just needs to bar your grill. That was nasty. That was a good find right here. Now watch right here. This is a good pass right here by Kyle Korver. Dumped down high, low. And Karolinko is a very good defender. As he's late right there getting over. Terrific pass by Korver. And Joe King made a pay. A three-point play. 99-82. In that zone defense, Neil, you know, it's got a lot of holes in it now. You see with this group, they're able to exploit it. Good ball movement, dribble penetration. Earl Watson with eight to shoot. Karolinko fake and started to drive and a foul. And Tom Thibodeau is not going to be happy. He doesn't want you putting them on the line. Make, a, make it easy for him to score with no time leaving the clock. You know, Gibson just fouled out with his sixth foul. And Taj comes off. And uh, Tom Thibodeau wants his team to gather around him. Well, you might see right now, Tom Thibodeau might go with Amaris Sheik and have both him and Noah, the two seven-footers in there. I hope he yelled for Kirk. 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 Well, Thomas comes back on. He's, <laughs> He's got, got five. five fouls. Tom says, get out there. Well, he knows Kurt's a veteran. He knows how to play with, with five fouls. 
And here again we talk about the luxury though. You've still got Noah who's in the game. And you can go to the bench to a sheet. So yeah, and don't forget too, they, they just picked up Rasul Butler too. He can swing down there and be a play some power forward for you. Uh, Jefferson, boy, he's showing a variety of moves tonight. I tell you what, I mean, Boston Celtics gave him up for Kevin Garnett. He's shown that he's a very viable player. Now, he, had, he had some towards Achilles. Achilles. Yeah, he has Achilles and was out for a little bit. And, and then they were, the question was, could he come back from that? He did and had some nice, uh, played well for Minnesota. And then when uh, Utah got him, they were thinking, well, you know, we've got an opportunity here to be a pretty good basketball team. And early on the, in the season, well, they struggled a little bit. Then they played real well. Then they struggled again. And then when the Bulls caught them, they were struggling. Okay. You see this group now that this is another luxury that the Bulls have. They swim new all day in that power forward position as you said for Kurt Thomas. Try. Rose gunned up to Watson. Oh, he had a look, and now he unloads. Come on, CJ. I'll tell you what, <laughs> CJ's having a heck of a game. He has not missed a shot tonight, Neil. He's been in the game 10 minutes, 5 for 5, 4 for 4 from the three point line. He's got 14 points to go along with five assists. He's the leading bench scorer. And a timeout taken by the Jazz. 102 to 84 with 625 left. The Bulls in the driver's seat. customer I like non-stop travel because it's quicker because it's convenient it's just the best way to go keeps the cost down starting March 13th Southwest Airlines has added new non-stop flights out of Chicago Midway it means more time doing the things I want to do it's easy it's hassle free There's no headaches fly Southwest Airlines new non-stops from Chicago Midway to Greenville Spartanburg and Charleston South Carolina I like non-stop travel because <laughs> you don't got any more stuff <laughs> 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 There's a lot of buzz about the big changes at Fridays with over 20 fresh, bold new menu items like our premium Black Angus sirloin and grilled shrimp scampi or our sizzling dragon fire salmon. And you know what? We're so confident you'll love one of Friday's bold new flavors that we'll give you 10 bucks to try another one. So step into Fridays, try something new and get 10 bucks. If you haven't been to Fridays lately, you haven't been to Fridays. In here, it's always Friday. Waiting for things you want can be hard to do. Since the last thing you want to do is wait a long time for phone upgrades, U.S. Cellular gives them to you faster. Don't wait years. Get a new phone in as little as 10 months. And free accessories and ringtones with rewards. Only from U.S. Cellular. Welcome back, Bulls fans. Bulls up 102 to 84. We're going to take a look at the Harris Bank Telestrator. And this is what we talk about this 2 3 zone. Now we're going to keep an eye on everybody right here in this little circle. Go ahead and roll it. Now, as Derrick Rose drives, go ahead and roll it. He's going to get everybody to collapse. Now, when the ball's reversed, now freeze it. Right now, you got a one on two on the backside. Go ahead and roll it. Karolinko falls asleep. Joe Keemno goes up for the dunk. Thank you very much. And that's our Harris Bank Telestrator. This is Devin Harris, lights one up and makes a three from outside. So Harris and Jefferson coming to life in the second half. 31 for Jefferson in the game and 19 for Devin Harris. 102-87, Bulls were leaving the ball. Rose, traffic, missed it. Miles running in, and he puts one in off the glass. C.J. Miles. C.J. Miles is uh, 11 points off the bench. Again, the boys bench just dominating. 289. Watson. Not that time. That's his first 
Swiss in the night. Oh, Watson being stripped away. They had an opportunity to really cut into the lead. Rose running. Thank Trailer. Off the bench, 15. C.J. Watson, 14, 29 points from the shooters. Just look at those. I mean, it's raining jumpers here at the United Center. 31 three-point attempts. Oh, and they're shooting 55 percent. 31. That's uh, nearly uh, not quite half of all their field goal attempts have been threes. That was a nice move right there by Al Jefferson. There's Kevin McHale up and under moves. He worked a lot with Kevin McHale in Minnesota. It's him and Kevin Love. Watson. This won't be a three, but a drive, and it'll be two free throws. I'll tell you what, I like this aggressive C.J. Watson. I mean, if he can continue this, both him and Corver coming off the bench, and again, Ronnie Brewer is another one of those guys that come in and give you a spark off the bench, but if those two guys can come in and make some shots, they're going to be tough to beat. Al Jefferson, the foul, personal foul, and the Jazz are over the limit as he committed his fourth. C.J. Watson. Makes the first free throw. That's his first free throw attempt of the night. He's got six assists to go along with his 15 points, so he's played well off the bench. Just 13 minutes, but 15 points. Now 16. That's pretty darn efficient. Again, the Bulls bench has been really strong all season long. Much more confidence, and Tom Thibodeau is not afraid to go to him early. Miles, tough shot, and he used the window again and banked it in. 107.93. 3.52 left. Dang, hard drive. That nearly poked away, then got it back, and then a whistle and a foul. That's uh, going to go on Miles. Five on Miles. Well, Miles, five fouls in 26 minutes. They have 16 points off their bench, and he has 13 of them. Well, the Bulls, meantime, with uh, 31, 33, 39 off their bench. Well, and again, you, know, you, you don't want to get complacent when you get these big leads. You know, that's something that the Bulls have to work on is when you get a team down like they did early in this game, you, know, you really want to put them away. You don't give them any hope. And that's what you got to start gearing yourself up as you start getting into the playoffs because there's one of the situations where you're going to have leads and you got to be able to close out teams, close out games. And you see Miami is struggling with that. The Bulls have been pretty good with that all season long, but sometimes they like to you know, let teams back in the games. You know, where, where it hurts for games like Atlanta in Atlanta, where they had a 19 point lead and uh, should have won that basketball game. Well, and you, and you see right now, I mean, you know, Utah is still playing. I mean, they're going to compete. That's one thing about this team. Even if Jerry Sloan is not there, Tyrone Corbin is going to make sure they play hard and not quit. They're fighting themselves back into this game a little bit. Under three minutes to play. Well, they need to hurry, and there's a strip of the steal, and uh, going to be a foul on the play, and a timeout taken. A timeout taken by the Bulls with 2.55 left to play for your game. And if that was on Miles, it'll be his sixth. We'll find out when we come back. Cut! What's that doing on my set? Product placement, sir. Whenever we feature a product in a scene, we get tons of free stuff. Here we go. <laughs>
your sign of a good time. It's just right taste of Bud Light. Here we go. More Bud Light? When I'm waiting to get a haircut, I like to spread the word about Ford. How are you? <laughs> Take me to your edge. I saw the look of the car, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> ooh. Yeah. Well, this is my Ford Touch. I have a great navigation system. Was it love at first sight? Absolutely. Mike, what do you like about the Escape? I'm definitely pleased with the gas mileage with my Escape. The Escape has everything you need. And everything I want. Spread the word and get a Ford Escape with 0% financing for 60 months. Only at your local Ford store. You're a fine driver. You're a great passenger. That's what I was looking for. These days, I have the world at my fingertips. Not because I'm a gigantic celebrity, but because I have Xfinity. I can search for movies and shows, change channels, even watch, all from my iPad. Now, with the Xfinity TV app, you can watch movies and shows, even change channels right on your iPad. Switch to Xfinity and get TV, internet, and voice for $29.99 each per month for a year when you bundle all three. Or step up to an HD triple play and get up to $200 back. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. our GMC defensive play of the game. You see Deng into the passing lane, chased by Karolinko, and then he just throws down a dunk. And that was back in the first quarter where the Bulls really had tightened the screws. Our defensive play of the game brought to you by GMC Acadia, better highway fuel economy than any other eight-passenger SUV. Well, Neil, here's something to be concerned about a little bit. Even though the Bulls jumped out to a 31-point lead, that's a big bucket right there, but Utah had outscored the Bulls here in the second half, 54 to 40 by 14, plus 14. And again, we talk about finishing teams and go ahead and put them away. Now it's 110-95. A 15-point Bulls lead with 248 left. We get this uh, under two minutes with a 15-point lead. Killer instinct. As good a defensive team as they are, your defense is going to win a lot of ball games, but you also got to be able to close teams out. And now you can take your time, just run your offense, get open shots as you were doing. And they go into that uh, little zone that you've been talking about. Pass skipped across, dang on the weak side. And then Noah picks it up. He ducks in and scores. Good job by Jokey Noah. Just active. 16 points, 9 rebounds. Two minutes left in this game. 12.95. Bell just kind of ripped his arms up through Corbers. And that's three on Kyle. Both teams are over the limit. But a uh, minute 51 left, and uh, many in the crowd beginning to head for the exits. And another great crowd here in Chicago, the United Center. Enjoyed the game, enjoyed the halftime festivities as the Bulls honored the first championship team. Nice to see all those guys. Bell at the free throw line. Roger Bell, 13 points in the game, make it 14. For the Bulls, 26 for D. Rose, 17 of those came in the first quarter. 20 for Dang, 17 for Corbett. 16 for C.J. Watson. Watson shoveled nicely. Done. Aggressive drive and then kick by Watson. Yeah, C.J. Watson has come in and played a fabulous game. 16.7 assists and four rebounds in only 15 minutes of action. And as you say all the time, you know, very efficient game. Yeah, very efficient. 41 points off the Bulls bench, so the bench played well again. Harris outside. He knocked that down. It's a 14-point game. And when the Bulls get a shot up here, it should be under a minute left to play. In Utah, you thought maybe the Bulls had kicked the life out of them in the first half, but they hung in there and have fought back. There's a holding foul underneath Roger Bell. Holding Lou all day. 
And again, give Tyrone Corbin credit. We knew they were going to come out in the second half and play a much better game. But when you get yourself down by, you know, 20 points in the first quarter and they had nothing going right for you, you had such an uphill battle. But again, they, they about played the Bulls here in the second half. But again, I tell you, Tyrone Corbin is going to be a very good coach. He's uh, waiting for his opportunity. He's been on a lot of people's radar. And he's going to get this team playing the way he wants them to play. And he's one of the good guys in the NBA. They got some nice pieces, though, Neil. I mean, you look at the kid, Derek Favors, and Gordon Hayward from Butler. And two promising young players. Yeah, I, I like Hayward coming out of Butler. I, he's had kind of a tough time fitting in, and you mentioned it the first half, Stacey. He's still trying to learn and feel his way through the NBA game, which is way different than exactly. playing in the Horizon League. Well, exactly. But I'll tell you what, though, he's shown flashes that he's going to be a very good player. And, you know, Favors is also one of the youngest players in the NBA. He's going to be a very good player. We've got Al Jefferson. So they've got some nice pieces. C.J. Miles, Devin Harris. Devin Harris. So, you know, they've got some nice, nice pieces. There's Jefferson. Nice move up and under, but couldn't finish. Not to the floor at one end. And it's five against four. Corver will hold it. Walk his dribble back out. 42 seconds left to play. And the Bulls... We're going to win this and went for the 47th time this year. C.J. Watson, dang, cut, cut, cover. Uh, and you know Tom Thibodeau, as a perfectionist he is, he's not going to like giving up 100 points. This is the first time they've given up 100 points in a long time. And you know, defensively, he knows that they're a much better team. You get 100 points up to this team, especially after what you did yes, in exactly. the first two quarters. Exactly. They scored a bunch here in the second, uh, third, and fourth quarters. Bulls win for the 47th time, and they get an ice ovation from another sellout crowd here. They're now 47 and 18. The Jazz fall to 34 and 33 as the Bulls win it by 18. We'll be back to wrap things up here at the United Center. But after these important messages. Coming up on WGN News, major concerns about a potential nuclear disaster in Japan caused by this, this week's tsunami. It may be the biggest protest yet. Pro-union forces storm Madison, Wisconsin. And Chicago celebrates the Irish, taking in the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. The WGN News is next. There's a lot of buzz about the big changes at Friday's with over 20 fresh, bold new menu items. In fact, we're so confident you'll love one of Friday's new flavors that we'll give you 10 bucks to try another one. So step into Friday's, try something new, and get 10 bucks. In here, it's always Friday. I was booed a lot. My whole life I've been booed. Don't get the two I was getting booed a lot. Boston, they don't like me over there. It's okay. I have my friends. I'm a family man, and I can tell you there's no place like home. That's why Galaxy offers the finest full-service remodeling at unbeatable prices. Galaxy is your one-stop shop for all your home improvement needs. Roofing, siding, windows, porches and decks, kitchens and baths, room additions, masonry, and more. 773-783-8300. scholar the two trains and a bus rider the I'll sleep when it's done academic the work to school warrior to the middle of the night study group for 80 years we've been inspired by you 
Inspired to grow from our technical school beginnings into the kind of university and graduate school you need today. And we've been honored to walk with you to help you get where you want to be. Because your moment is now. Let nothing stand in your way. Are you and your gray hair facing an identity crisis? My hair says experience. My hair says energy. Touch of gray. The best of both combs away a little gray, never too much, just right. Now I look like I know what I'm doing and can still do it. Touch of gray. The rules are different here. Here we serve sliders, not burgers. We're about flavors, not fillers. We're run by family, not a corporation. The only thing big about us is taste. Welcome to White Castle, to 90 years of big, bold flavors and to our new Savor Sack meals. Choose specialty sliders like bacon cheese, A1, chicken rings, and the original slider. Savor Sack starting at $2.99. White Castle, eat original. Now, welcome back. The Bulls winners 118 to 100. Tonight's plays of the game brought to you by Budweiser. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds and we feature three point shooting here this evening. The Bulls on fire. And as you look at the little highlight reel of the threes, here's some of what they did. They set a new team record for three point field goals made in the quarter, in a quarter. New team record for three-point field goals made in a half, and a new team record for three-point field goals made in a game. The previous record was 15, and that was set way back in 1994. So the Bulls had their shooting shoes on tonight. Well, they got off to a good start, and they really got Utah on their heels, and Utah really couldn't really answer to the Bulls' thrust. It was a 20-point deficit in the first quarter, but give Utah credit. They came back in the second half, scored 59 points, and got themselves back in the ball game to really cut down a 31 point deficit and the the Bulls winning for the uh, I mean they, their record is impressive I mean, let's put it that way they I mean they, they've got just 18 losses on the season they've already clinched the Central Division uh, this team is on a roll they've won 11 straight now at home six straight overall so to say they're headed in the right direction well, is, and they're tied first in the Eastern Conference and again undefeated in your division have a chance to go undefeated the first team to go undefeated in their division ever in the NBA which is an incredible feat four more games within their division um, um, it's possible they go 16 and 0. Well, it's going to be interesting as uh, this team is starting to really feel their oats. Our next Bulls telecast will be Thursday night when the Bulls take on the Nets at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Our broadcast begins at 6 p.m. on WGN TV. GN America viewers tune in Saturday, March 26th, when the Bulls battle the Milwaukee Bucks at the Bradley Center. Join us at 7.30 on WGN TV. Once again, the happy final, the Bulls 118, the Utah Jazz 100. Bulls basketball in high definition brought to you by Xfinity, only from Comcast for Stacey King, Neil Funk. Good night from the United Center in Chicago. Stay tuned. The WGN News is next. is Chicago's very own WGN News at 9. Rescue missions in